Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty where we're getting attacked and attacked and attacked and I don't know when the game will end or what the way out of this is. It feels like being in a labyrinth. Defender strength is 20, attacker strength is 4. This is going to be fun because we are just going to steam roll through this. Hopefully, I don't want to eat my words for losing it later down the line. Uh, let's just double check real quick. No one here has enough points to actually update anything. Kyle needs more strength. We figured that out by now. So might as well give him that plus one strength. Um, Incy Vinci, what did I want to do with you? Um, I think we wanted more willpower because we wanted more of the shouts to go through. That's fine. Silent Toe. Slowly but surely getting all of the other abilities. I mean, look, for starters, willpower isn't bad, but also speed is not bad either. And he still requires a few more points for the actual great abilities. Mind Crush in particular is a fun ability. Hit points are fine. I think we could work a bit on the willpower. Yeah, let's go with willpower. Quick aim would be the next thing here. I don't have enough points and we are again encumbered. So strength it is, very good. And finally, Vanessa. Mind control for 10 points is a snatch, easy to grab. Steven here is saving for the second class, I guess. An Asian cow. Return fire would be good. Good. Cool. Deploy. Good. Time to land. And... Ooh, nice. I think we only fought on this map once. I like it. A new Jericho market here. Where you can buy potentially guns and guns and guns. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you can buy guns and a couple of snacks over here. That is funny. I like it. Good. Let's haste everybody. Justin moves up. And we're using a couple of these civilians. Mainly to get a better sight on the map. So we got in Vinci. Can't unfortunately really charge anywhere. Good. NC moves up. And we know there's someone in here. Might be an alien. Wanted to get uh, these others, but unfortunately that's not going to happen. Moving up here, perfect position for a turret, uh, which we could place like right here. Open field, high ground, not bad. Giving everybody some willpower back. sure there is no one coming from here I am still wondering though yeah potentially we're just taking the high ground here I'm 
here. Craig, double tap. Um... Tell you what, we could charge up here as well. It's an interesting start because that whole gate makes it so much more difficult. Would like to take some high ground at the end of the day up here on the bridge. So. Maybe the right way to go is to actually like charge in, get up here onto the high ground and then take shots from here. On the other hand, high ground is not nearly as important as it is in XCOM. I'll be there. So might as well just take a good uh, solid position. Silent Hose begins to move up. Triplet spider drones. Good, that will help us to explore from next round onwards. In the meantime, for Overwatch with our sniper. All right, moving up. Uh, you know what? Everybody, almost everybody is in the uh, willpower regeneration aura. That's good. Got to keep on pushing. Dashing up. That's one dash. And the second one, Asian cow, is just overwatching in case something happens. Finally, changing to our pistol and full overwatch as well. Good. End of turn. Let's go. I'll enjoy this. You want some more of that, friend? Uh, that was not so smart. Why would you jump? Th oh, wow. Why Get would you jump down? Fighting against the Forsaken? Oh, yeah, we are. I was wondering why we get... Why we get uh, return fire. Cool. A couple of civilians are taking severe damage. The Forsaken, however, like, should not be that much of a problem. Failed to connect there. There we go. Bit of damage. And a bit more of damage. <coughs> Gets us a new uh, a new soldier. Shortly afterwards, we are hitting a triplet. <sighs> Tell you what, I would really like to get that sniper. At the same time, it's eventually better. To simply remove their weapons. 
sure if this here will capture the sniper. No, it does not. Well, almost was to be expected, right? Good, let's teach these guys here a lesson. Ooh, nice. Well, that was a good detonate. And we're moving closer towards that other side. Spider drone is going to be our main scout. Reloading. Move up. And... Triplet spider drone. There we go. Fantastic. How about we are actually throwing a turret. The question is what, where is a good place? Right here might not be too bad. But instead of controlling the turret, I would like to control one of you guys, because I know exactly what we're going to do with you as a spider drone. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, they will regenerate slightly, but that's besides the point. Good, moving slightly up, and I think what we're going to do is just overwatching. Yes. Um, if we move over here, we again should be okay. Let's do this. There we go. That's the type of shot I was looking for. I'll keep my eyes open. I'm here. There's still this uh, Forsaken over here, but he's only a melee uh, fighter, so he should actually be okay. Moment that he comes out, both eyes boom. open. We want to stick with the rest of the team because we still have the aura. Steven moves up here, and I think we're simply going to just accept uh, that he's not doing anything else. Not optimal, but okay. Very good. Best part of the job. Detonation in three. Nice, very nice. That was. That was a good activity. Unfortunately, you jumped down, which means we can't really get you.
Uh, we're mind controlled. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> good disabled torso. I love it. That, on the other hand, it was not so good. Now they are frenzied as well, which I don't really like. That priest needs to die. So we're moving up. I think the mind control ends when we uh, take out the head. Is that true? Still mind control, so the answer we today we learned, the answer is it's not true. down now our second option is to simply kill so many that he's running out of will points which soon very soon should be the case really get upstairs which is a pity spider drone begins to move up we're good Could mind control him actually? Uh, move up two. Continue to hit this guy. The additional falling damage almost got him down. Almost, that is. Eventually can't really explode in a way that will hurt him. No, can't. But we can do that here. It's very much out of armor.
Assault, Priest, Assault. Okay, listen. Amy. Quick shot. That's one down. Let's just get it over with. And that's the second one down. Move up. Can't really hit him, unfortunately. I can make a difference. Good, we're moving over. Confirming target. should be the point where this guy is completely out of um, will points yes that is indeed the case I can well done initial problem solved Good, moving up further. Next up, we just need solid fighting here. Already there. Good, we're not watching with a sniper, that shouldn't be a problem. And. Hmm. We're just taking safe cover here from everyone. Let's use that spider. Almost there. Oh, barely couldn't get both. Question is, do we want to hit one, and are we feeling okay with that? Instead of getting killed, why not? Ah, oh, we could even hit both. Fantastic. Good. End of turn. Oh, look at you. You got this, uh, the really good grenades with you. Yeah, incendiary grenades are almost too powerful. Now you think about it, which other grenade would you take instead? These guys literally can't do it all. Ready to fire. Acquiring target. Good, that's a solid kill. I'm here. Can't step out. Okay, I see, I see. Well, for starters, let's give everyone friends. <laughs> That's a good start. I like it. Oh, okay, well, he can fire back. Should have uh, considered that that is indeed an assault. Moving to the shortest uh, way, by the way. Mind control. I like that. Oh, we 
we've got onslaught, so that's even better. Cool. So I tell you what. Um, using the enemy's material. Good. Next up, getting the priest. <laughs> Nasty. Incy Vinci moves up, takes a shot, massive acid damage. I love it. Uh, we're just going to wait here. No point in rushing. Retrieve the turret, yes. And Vanessa continues to move up. Kai gets a bit closer. And let's take a confident shot. Perfect shot. Very nice. Good, moving up. Asian cow, I really don't want to move. In the meantime, we're using the remaining uh, a few spiders that we have left and that guy's down there and uh, that guy down there Something's broken. yes i think getting the better end on the sniper in the 101 yeah that is really unfortunate yes uh, sniper is down Equally, that guy isn't going to last very long either. New Jericho Assault moves forward, takes the front line. And the Forsaken Assault does exactly the same, moves forward and takes the front line. Overwatch. Anthony can't really move, so we're just going to recover. Kyle double moves. Moving to coordinates. Gets everybody some more willpower. Steven has started to burn, that's not good, so we can't move him as well. Not a problem. And we'll take uh, we'll take a couple more frontliners here. We have one enemy, can't be that difficult. Well, look at you. Rolling out, target located. 
I'm on the move. Finger on the trigger. Good. Pastel injured, but I'll not for now. Oh. Okay, but uh, we're at minus 30 here. So I think this will just end the entire mission. Mind control should mean we're. Yeah, we're just keeping it. Okay, cool. Well, not good for the new Jericho, guys. But overall, very good. We almost have not spent any of our resources in the Forsaken were a nice little change up to the continuous Pandoran threat. That's one of the things that I like, the multitude of factions, although they are some of the enemy factions are not really fleshed out too much. It, it shows that you do have like a um, DLC upon DLC upon DLC type of creep uh, happening. For instance, the pure are uh, introduced in one of the DLCs in Honestly, I don't understand what the difference between them and the other uh, uh, faction that uses uh, that uses technology to enhance themselves is. Potentially, there is isn't any uh, difference, but that's exactly precisely the point that I'm trying to make. Uh, they have doubled down on a lot of the this concepts, and then there is just an extra hardcore race that does it even more, or faction. Enemy bases within ranged mist suffer 20% uh, less. The nature okay. of Sanidrian reveal. Witness their fear. Hiding in safe zones. It's like children, children trying to keep out the world. Apostates from reality. Escaping to shallow dreams of comfort. Afraid. Their bodies are too weak for this world. Not really sure what their problem was. Everybody gets 20% bonus on defense. That actually should be a uniformly good thing. But then again, I suppose this is forced diplomacy where they just want to introduce conflict for the sake of conflict. Not a very good concept in, in my humble opinion. Uh, the, the three factions are fleshed out okay they have believable motives of what they want to do but they again act irrational uh, towards the other factions it's like almost inevitable that you're seeing some sort of conflict at, at a point in time which i think isn't necessarily how it would uh, work but yeah i think yeah i would have potentially designed it a bit different doesn't feel like you have meaningful, uh, meaningful enough uh, uh, options at your hand. They are going to go for their throat regardless at some point in time. Which sort of stinks. Good. So, do we have enough to open this here? Activate the base. 900. I think yes. Cool. Good. Um, this here is... I'll call that India, although it is technically not uh, India, but still Saudi Arabia, uh, potentially. So... We're still t calling it India because that base is going to free up the entirety of uh, India. So... India... Shmindia it is. Good, we wanted to repair the generator, easy peasy. Living quarters also very easy. Research lab, uh, I think uh, satellite uplink would be helpful. Uh, I guess everybody agrees on that. And then a mystery pillar. Oh, we'll get to that. Um, access lift. Yeah, not needed that badly. I rather take this. Good, we're again low on resources, but we got another base, and that's all that counts. In terms of manufacturing, Destiny's on the way, then a couple of purification grenades. Uh, Comme toujours, as they say in uh, French. 
Okay, next up we would do the uh, Symes mission up here, but that is going to happen in the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this episode. And if you um, are seeking Dr. Symes as well, maybe you want to try looking behind the like button. If you click around it, uh, it might be that they hide right there. Take care and have a good one. Bye bye.